Welcome students, Tom Harmer here, your accounting professor, and this will be a demonstration of how to customize your general ledger report, which is required in your accounting project. So here we are. We're in QuickBooks. I've got my chart of accounts here, and we are going to go to reports. So click on reports. And then I scroll down here to Accountant and Taxes section. That's where it has these various reports we're looking for, which include, we've got the trial balance here, general ledger journal. Okay, we're going to customize the general ledger. So I double click on that. So here we are. I'm not showing any activity here because 061112 tab, tab, and then run report and that brings up my activity. All the activity I have entered is in June. So there's uh, general ledger activity that I have entered for this demonstration. This is different than the data you will have, of course. Now, so you notice this general ledger report has no debits and no credits. It has an amount field here with pluses and minuses. And of course, we are learning accounting using debits and credits. So we want to change this report to uh, demonstrate or illustrate the, those properties. So let's see. But I notice here I have one error here in a journal entry. Look at this. It says it's not under the required format JEO, JEO 678. It just says entry 6. So I want to show you how easy it is to correct an entry that you've made into QuickBooks. I'm just going to double click on it, double click, and boom, I am in the journal entry. So then I can come up here and I can go JE06, save, and then I'm back and there it is. It's all corrected. See how easy that is? So anytime that you have a balance that's wrong or a number that's wrong, you can go back and edit it or delete it or whichever. So. In any case, let's go and let's customize this report. So uh, to do that, I click on Customize. Okay, so we're going to come down here. I'm winging it a bit here. So let's go here. I've got... So. This page here, I don't need to change anything at this time. I'm going to come over here and click on Rows Columns. Okay, I click on that, and then I ch click on Change Columns. And then what I have here is uh, I have the items in that uh, default report that I'm going to change. I'm going to be getting rid of one name. I don't need name, so I'm going to remove that. I don't need split. I'm going to remove that. And um, I don't need amount. I'm going to remove that. But I do want to have debits and credits. I'm going to come over here, debit. Hold on the control key. I can get both of them at the same time. Add them over here, but you see they're in the wrong order. Okay, so I'm going to move, I highlight it, come over and I hit the up arrow button. There's that. And then I take the debit and I move it up on two. So there we go, date, type, number, memo description, debit, credit, balance, okay? So let's go take a look at how the report looks. Okay, so there you go. The name field that we got rid of was the name of the vendor. And we are not, uh, in, in this uh, exercise, we didn't set up our QuickBooks system to require vendor names and client names because we're staying consistent with our textbook. So number is the journal entry reference number. And uh, there's our memo description. OK, now we've got debits on the left, credits on the right, and the balance on the account. So now we are looking at a customized general ledger account, which uh, is uh, required in the project that utilizes debits and credits as we do in our textbook. So there you go. There is your demonstration of how to customize the general ledger account.